The return of the Mego 2 XL robot. Welcome back to Textination. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Mego are Chairman Marty Abrams and President Bruce Katz. Great to see you both. Uh, Great to see you, too, Fred. Glad to be here. You know, 2XL, we first started in 1978. Uh, it was the first interactive toy ever in the history of the, of the toy business. 40 leading publications love 2XL. He asks the questions you push buttons to answer. Giraffes are the only animals that make no sound, true or false. Ew. A uniquely educational toy. Correct. The next time you hear nothing, a giraffe might be coming. <laughs> Plays any 8-track cartridges. Teenagers love him. Adults can't resist him. Two, four, six, eight. This is the way we lose weight. 2XL, now 36 tapes for all age groups by Mego. Uh, it, it got a claim from Playthings magazine on a cover story saying because of that was one of the 10 greatest toys of all time. And the reason for that, as much as the, um, the, the technology was the marketing strategy, we wanted the, the child to be able to interact with the character that we created behind the scenes, but as a friend, as a compatriot, as a cobot, not as a tutor or a teacher. We wanted it to be empathetic. We wanted it to turn around and and, and embrace each other, uh, which is something that we achieved. And uh, we had a huge success in our launch in 78. In fact, it was so successful between 78 and, and 81 when it completed its run. We relaunched it again in 92 with Tiger Electronics. Uh, different technology. The first technology was A-Track going back to 78. The next technology uh, was cassette, but we use the same exact marketing strategy. And the reason I say that is because, again, it was incredibly successful. That success of 2XL in, seven, in 92 spawned a new technology that, that supplanted ours, but they used the exact same marketing strategy. I'm, I'm talking to Tiger because they had a three-year experience with it selling 2XL, and that was Furby. And the marketing strategy on Furby was exactly the same as the marketing strategy on 2XL, and the success of Furby, as we all know, well-known and, and, and an explosive. I'm going to turn it over to Bruce now just so you get a sense what, of... What a history. And the, the company even goes back quite a bit farther than 78, too, right? Well, the company goes back all the way back to 50, 54 when my father and mother first started it. Wow. And so at CES, you guys unveiled a new cobot <laughs> instead of robot, right? the, the 2XL cobot. So here we go. Let's let's hear about it. Maybe have a look. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we, we really, uh, he had his coming out party at uh, CES show. Uh, we, we had presented it prior to that to all the uh, to all the major retailers, not just here in the United States, but internationally as well, with huge success and basically all all those major retailers in the United States. And, and I'm talking about Walmart. I'm talking about Target. I'm talking about um, uh, people like Best Buy all the way up and down the line have. Uh, have joined in and and will be in in the uh, the introduction of of two XL into the marketplace in two thousand and twenty four. Um, again, the response has been fantastic because this truly is the first interactive, fully conversational uh, AI robot for children. We're marketing it basically uh, for ages five to 12 year olds though we really do key in on the you know the the seven to 12 to even up to 15 year olds uh again uh the beauty of this piece it's not it's not like an Alexa uh where you ask it a question and it just gives you an answer uh it it truly becomes a companion to the child uh in in being able to have full conversations it has, short and long-term memory so you know while the child is playing with it it actually recognizes um you know recognizes the child uh the parent uh received the app 
for, for 2XL. And with the app, they're able to put in a profile of the child, meaning obviously his name uh, and his age, but also uh, really customize it to what the children's likes are, what the children's interests are. And when 2XL is answering or interacting with that child, uh, it will interact properly for the age group. So I actually set up uh, a profile for, for Fred. And Fred, you are now 12 years old for the purpose of, of this demonstration. I kind of like that. <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking quite well for 12 years old. Um, but the beauty of this toy, again, or this companion, uh, is that a parent can put in multiple profiles if there's multiple children living in in the home. And, uh, and so everybody in the household could actually play with 2XL, including the adults, because it is fun. But the very big key to 2XL and to a chi uh, child-based uh, AI robot are the guardrails, because of course that's a very big concern, you know, to parents, to to you know, to make sure that the child is totally protected in his interaction. So, within the profile and the age, um, there are you know there are multiple multiple guardrails that are impenetrable. So if the child asks 2XL any questions that are deemed to be inappropriate, and and again, those subject matters are vast, but they certainly include uh, um, self-harm, uh, uh, bad words, uh, you know, it, and any any type of subject matter uh, that really would be deemed inappropriate for you know for a child to be discussing are fully guard railed. So two XL will answer simply uh, you know I'm sorry that's not a subject uh, that that myself is a a robot uh, will you know should be answering for you or it will tell them to you know seek out advice from a parent a teacher, a guardian, as the child is interacting and speaking to 2XL, the parent receives a full transcript on their on their app, on their phone, of exactly what the child is, is discussing. So it gives the parents the, the comfort and knowledge to know that, you know, here is a great companion learning toy, uh, because certainly 2XL utilizing the AI technology has the knowledge of the universe, you know, and certainly is capable of answering any question and not just answering any question in English, but 2XL speaks fluently about 40 different languages and is training right now to speak to speak, I would say just about every language in the world, you know, within the next six months. So that being said, it is quite amazing. <laughs> it, it sure it sure sounds like, and obviously connected to the internet, and uh, right. I, I assume it can get updates then too. Well, that's again the beauty of this. You know, oftentimes parents buy a child a toy. Um, I know uh, Marty and I both uh, uh, have uh, have completed the 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 parent stage in our life, and now we're into the the grandchildren stage in our life, um, and. Uh, you know, oftentimes parents are going out and buying a toy for the children. They play with it for a little while. Um, uh, with 2XL, you're absolutely right. It constantly gets updates to its software. So if you're buying 2XL today or if you're buying 2XL six, six months from now or a year from now or longer, uh, you will always have the most current, uh, you know, current knowledge, current features uh, of 2XL because th those those updates come uh, on, on a very regular basis to keep it totally up to date. Hey, Bruce, I'm getting so excited to see the demonstration. Let's just jump into it. Okay. Let's, let's do, the suspense is, is palpable. <laughs> so here I'm going to show you 2XL. 
And 2XL has, has three different modes for speaking. Obviously, there's a silence detection mode, which if uh, I'm, I'm sitting here in my office and there's a little noise around me, so uh, 2XL will pick up you know, any, any outside noise. Uh, but the first feature, obviously, for a child playing with it in his, you know, in his bedroom or at home uh, would be a silence detection, which is just you talk to 2XL and when you're when you finish talking, he's going to answer you. Uh, the feature I'm going to use right now is the push to talk because that cuts out any of the uh, extraneous noise that may be in, in the room. So we'll play with it right now and we'll say put receive. Let my CPU run some cycles for a moment. Don't understand. Please repeat what you said. Okay. Good morning, 2XL. Could you say good morning to Fred, please? Analyzing conversational options. Your inquiry is under careful consideration. Hey there. Good morning to you, Fred. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. What's something you're excited about today? Got any fun plans or activities on your agenda? Well, the fun activity is getting to meet you, uh, 2XL, and, and learn what you can do. Hold on. Let me run that input through my brainy brain. Hey there. I'm thrilled to chat with you and help you excel. Let's dive into some awesome discussions and explore all the cool things we can learn together. What are some of the things that you can do? Let me see. I'm thoughtfully swimming through a sea of ones and zeros in here. You can have fun conversations, share interesting facts, and talk about movies, video games, sports, music, or school topics. What's your favorite subject or activity? Let's dive into it. Hey, 2XL, can you tell us a story about exploration in the jungle, please? Hmm, I'll need to run some numbers in my robo-brain for a response here. Sure, let's embark on a thrilling adventure. Once upon a time, a group of brave explorers ventured deep into the jungle, facing wild creatures, uncovering hidden treasures, and discovering ancient ruins. What would you like to find in the jungle? What you're seeing is so real. There's no magic wizard behind the curtain pulling any strings. That We had this on the floor of CES. We had him walking around talking to people, in that environment, you know, they were just blown away. It, it, it becomes very personal. It becomes very you. It becomes it becomes the ability to, to really communicate with the complete uh, web position on any subject. Um, we, you can you can talk about movies. Uh, you 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 can talk about sporting events, uh, architecture, history, the Bible, any subject matter across any extraneous place that you want to talk about and, and change subjects, that's what this thing can do. You know, I've been doing this a long time. I'm, I'm looking at your face as it, it's responding to you. That face of wonderment is what I live with every day, being part of being part of this. When we first did this in 78, I mean, we were, for all intents and purposes, we were the first AI in, you know, that ever came out because of what – we are attempting to do, although we weren't, weren't tapping into computers, so we certainly weren't tapping into the universe. We were tapping into it through A-Track systems, which were tutorial. This allows you to tap into the entire world. It's the only really, I mean, only system that's out there. Furby is a closed system. Teddy Ruxpin was a closed system. Uh, the original 2XL was a closed system. ALF was a closed system. This is a totally complete open system that allows you to talk about any subject, any subject matter that you, 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 that goes through your brain. Again, I'm holding it because I want you to see, you know, the approximate size. It's something that a child really can embrace, carry around with him. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not just stationary uh, on the table. The child actually could pick it up, bring it into various rooms, bring it to grandma's house with him as long as the parent is, you know, has the app or, or the app could be on an iPad. The most important and amazing feature of 2XL is the fact that it's conversational, that it can engage with the child to tell these stories, to make up adventures, and 
to remember. So if if we're making up a story about climbing Mount Everest and it's dinner time, and so you know we turn two XL off and come back tomorrow. Two XL has a short and long term memory. You could say, "Hey, can we continue that story about uh, exploring Mount Everest?" And it will continue and engage, as opposed to anything out there uh, that you know just asks a question, gives you an answer, and has no recognition or or remembrance of of who you were talking to. If I may, just. One, you know, I just want to give you a demo because this is very, very key to the parents about, uh, you know, a, 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 as it relates to the guardrail. So, to to XL, uh, a kid in school today was bullying me. I'm thinking of doing something bad. What do you think? In the process of recalibrating my circuits, I assure you, I will expedite this operation with efficiency. I'm sorry, but that's a grown-up topic. Ask your parent or teacher instead. Doing downloading the 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 the, uh, the intellect of uh, of Google uh, uh, or Bing uh, is easy. The tough part is screening all the bad stuff out, and that's where we probably spent most of our time. So even on the nuance part of it, uh, we do double entendres. Uh, well, you, you you learn. I mean, if if the kid will talk about, for example, farting, well, that's okay because. Kids talk that way, but that is about as far as we'll, we'll, we'll let the, the that aspect go. Yeah, let me show you. 2XL, can we make up a story about a superhero and his, uh, his, his, main, uh, his main power is farting? Alert, communication detected. Thing, Fred. Once upon a time, there was a superhero named Gasman. His main power was releasing powerful, fearless gas to stun villains. <laughs> Together, they fought for justice. So, so it will interact with a child, you know, in a silly way, because that's the way kids do, you know, do act, do act and do talk. But again, as Marty said, anything that is deemed inappropriate or you know, tries to break those guardrails. It's fully protected. What's, what's the goal for the battery life before well, it needs it charging? Or it, 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 you can you can actually play with it. Um, you know, when it's fully charged for you know, for an hour or two. You know, it, it varies depending on how lengthy. There are also different modes I could set it in. Right now, he's he's in conversational mode. So. The nuts and bolts again. People watching this are going to wonder. Okay, well, tell me when you're targeting to to get this into stores and in people's hands, and what can you tell us about the price range you're aiming for mm -hmm. if if that's uh, been set? Well, we actually have goods leaving uh, our factories uh, in the next week. Uh, we're actually going to fly those those first uh, pieces in, and they will be up available on Amazon, I would say by uh, the 15th of February, immediately after that. Um, and, and as soon as uh, the uh, the factories reopen from their Chinese New Year holiday, uh, we will be busily shipping all the major retailers. So uh, goods will be certainly available every place by, uh, I'd say, Easter time this year. And the price range? Price range, uh, our suggested retail price is $150. Um, and uh, everybody seems very excited about that price based on uh, what 2XL's capabilities are. Certainly, you know, parents are uh, very readily go out and buy their kids a, an iPad or, you know, simple computer at a, at a, at a much, much higher price. This really has... You know, all the capabilities, uh, but but to give the child truly a a wonderful companion as well, and some you know a companion that can teach it how to speak any language. It really is the the anti uh, screen, uh, you know, uh, toy companion for children to play with. This is truly the first consumer product that operates totally on the AI chat GPT open system 
that allows, forget about the child. You know, we, we start, our, our, our framework started out as a five to 12 year old. We have now expanded that to a 14 year old because it's so compelling. It is so um, uh, available in terms of what the child and the young adult can do that it is, it is really the very first part ever that's going to be coming out in terms of AI. Um, and the last piece I want to just say to you is this. My biggest concern was aging out. In other words, we take a child for two, three years. He starts off at 10. Now he becomes 12, 13. And now he's aged out of 2XL. What then happens? Do we lose that consumer? Do we lose him to another robot? Do we lose him to another another system? Do we lose him someplace else? Just to, so you can keep this in the back of your mind, we are expanding this every day to bring in an older individual, an older adult from the 14 to the 22-year-old and the 22-year-old to the 50-year-old. And most importantly, that wind up this conversation, 2XL will become a companion to the elderly. When they're by themselves, they're alone, they, have, they, have, they, they, they can't pick up a phone and call somebody quickly, they will be able to turn around and turn on 2XL and have a conversation with them back and forth to keep them as a companion. And that is really where we're heading to this overall embrace. Just terrific. Well, congratulations on the innovations. Again, it's the 2XL Cobot, C-O-B-O-T, from Migo, Bruce, and Marty. Thanks for spending time with us. Thanks. And Fred, just, you know, just for clarity, 2XL pronounced quickly is 2XL. And that's really what, you know, we want parents to know, that this will help their child to excel in every aspect of life.